This is Hector El Chido Canales bringing you another Wheel of Unboxing video where I take three random figures, line them up, spin the wheel, and unbox the winner! The deal is, man, you gotta step up and spin that wheel. On today's Wheel of Unboxing, it's the Star Wars Retro Collection, the Mandalorian Series 2 Edition. I was lucky enough to get there right as they opened. I found them all, but these were the ones I wanted. I had to leave the other ones behind. I've had these guys for two months and I don't know which one to open. I wanted to keep one or two sealed just so I could put them up on my wall with the rest of my collection. But I don't know which ones to put up and which ones to unbox. I have an Ahsoka Tano. It's a Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano and it just doesn't fit the rest of my display collection. I got a couple of Boba Fett's. One is the rocket firing Boba Fett and then there's this one. The reason I got this one was to unbox it and I put it up on my wall with the rest of my collection. And I thought getting this one would be a little easier for me but I actually like this and I like this Boba Fett even though many Star Wars fans don't like it. I have a Mandalorian from series one I didn't know they were gonna make a best car Mandalorian retro collection figure. So I unboxed this one. That's where this game helps me out. I put all the figures on a wheel and now I'm gonna spin to win. Cause I don't have an eight ball. First up, we've got Boba Fett. The Mandalorian best car. Ahsoka Tano. And also on the wheel, we've got a box all oh. we also have nothing so if it lands on nothing we unbox nothing <laughs> let's spin that wheel let's spin it real good real good all right let's see and it's boba fett Before I unbox it, let's take one last look at the packaging. I don't like the fake wear and tear on the cards, but at least they're trying for something, right? Don't like these stickers either, but the rest looks really good. It's as retro as you can get without it actually being from 1977. Comparing it to the retro Boba Fett, I think it looks pretty good. I kind of don't want to unbox them now. This reminds me of Kind of like when you see young Hulk Hogan and then old Hulk Hogan. They're the same guy. They still look kind of the same, but no. Looking at the back of the card, there's really nothing to look at. So let's unbox them. Let's smell them. It doesn't have a strong new toy smell. Taking a look at his accessories, you've got his blaster right here. The one he's mostly shown with. It's his small little blaster, his gun. I like the new molding for his blaster as the old one looked more like a spaceship. And now here's the action figure in all his glory. That's what I was looking for. Does it come off? Does not come off. I was hoping the rocket actually came out. And I like how it's still molded as if it's got the little, little button there to shoot out the rocket. Let's take a look at him all the way around. And he, I just think he looks pretty cool. His articulation is head, arms, and legs. Five points of articulation. And here he is on attack mode. And similar to other figures, he's got a holster that just doesn't work. But it's nice that they at least tried. They could have probably used the same molding as the original Boba Fett. They did not. Not even the helmet. As you can see, his telescoping device goes up here and on this one it's kind of like sideways it did mimic a lot of it of course because a lot of it is the same armor the chest plating the gauntlets the knee weapons that he has <laughs> i want to open up this one as well <laughs> just so i could play and i don't think you could truly appreciate this figure unless you put him in familiar surroundings 
I guess this means I'm gonna have to get myself a Phoenix Sham. Thanks for joining me on this Wheel of Unboxing Review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and check out the other episodes of Wheel of Unboxing. All right, see you next time.